Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this sweater you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. In this tutorial I make a size small. For all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So let's begin. Both the front panel and the back panel are the exact same. So we're going to begin by chaining 11. Into the second chain from the hook, place one single crochet and then place one single crochet into every chain. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work and then working into the back loop of every stitch, place one single crochet. So we're going to repeat this row until we have a total of 67 rows completed and now we're going to work single crochet all the way across. So we're going to chain one and make 67 single crochet. So once you have your 67 single crochet completed, we're going to chain 3 and then turn your work. This chain 3 counts as our first double crochet. So into the next stitch, place one double crochet and then make another four double crochet. So all together you're going to have six double crochet. Next, chain one, skip the next stitch and make five double crochet. So we're going to repeat that chain one, skip the next stitch and make five double crochet and repeat that all the way across by chaining one, skip one and make five double crochet. So here we are at the end of the row, we should have seven stitches left. So because we started the row with six double crochet, we're going to have to finish with six double crochet. So chain one, skip one and make six double crochet. So next chain one and then turn your work. And now we're going to place one single crochet in on top of the next six double crochet. Then we're going to chain one, skip over this space and then make five single crochet. Okay. 
and you're going to repeat that across we're going to chain one skip that chain one space and then make five single crochet so repeat that all the way across So here we are at the end of the row, we have our chain one space and six double crochet. So we're going to chain one, skip that chain one space and then place one single crochet into the next six double crochet. Next, chain three and then turn your work. This chain three counts as our first double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice and now you're going to count four double crochet in and around that fourth double crochet we're going to do we're going to insert our hook around it and pull our yarn through. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through three. And now we're going to do three double crochet. So now we're going to be working around that middle double crochet that has our front post treble. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert a hook around that double crochet and pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now yarn over and then insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through three. So we're going to repeat that again. We're going to chain one, skip over this chain one space into the next single crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two yarn over twice and now we're going to find the middle double crochet so we're going to be working around that double crochet so insert your hook around pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through three then we're going to place one double crochet into each of the next three single crochets So now we're going to be working around that same middle double crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook around that middle double crochet again, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, Pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So we're going to repeat that again. We're going to chain one, skip over that chain one space, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, 
find your middle double crochet, insert your hook around that double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through three. Then you're going to place one double crochet into each of the next three single crochet. So now we're going to be working around that same middle double crochet again. So yarn over twice, insert your hook around that double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You should have two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through three. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. So here we are at the end of the row. We're going to chain one, skip over that chain one space, then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over twice, then count three double crochets in and around that double crochet. Place your hook around that double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then make one double crochet into each of the next three single crochet. Then we're going to work around that same double crochet in the middle. So yarn over twice, Insert your hook around that double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You have two loops on your hook. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So now you've one single crochet left, so place one double crochet into that last stitch. So next, chain one and then turn your work. And then place six single crochets. Then 
then chain one skip over that chain one space and make five single crochet So you're going to repeat that across, we're going to chain one, skip over that chain one space and make five single crochet. So repeat that all the way across. So here we are at the end of the row, chain one, skip over that chain one space and then make six single crochet. So the next two rows will form our pattern, so chain three and then turn your work. This chain three counts as our first double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice. Now we're going to find the double crochet, that very centre double crochet between the V. It's right there in the middle. So insert your hook around that and pull your yarn through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then make one double crochet into each of the next three single crochet. Now we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to work around that same middle double crochet between the V. So insert your hook around, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So you're going to repeat that again. We're going to chain one, skip over the next chain one space, yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice, find that middle double crochet between your V, insert your hook around that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then make one double crochet into each of the next three single crochets. Then we're going to be yarning over twice. Insert your hook around that same middle double crochet. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over. Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So you're going to repeat that all the way across.
Here we are at the end of the row. So we're going to chain one, skip over the next chain one space, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, find that middle double crochet between your V, insert your hook around that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then make one double crochet into each of the next three single crochets. Now we're going to yarn over twice and we're going to work into that same middle double crochet. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then place one double crochet into that very last stitch. For the next row, chain one and then turn your work and then make six single crochet. Then chain one, skip the next chain one space and make five single crochet. So you're going to repeat that, chain one, skip over the next chain one space and then make five single crochet. So repeat that all the way across. So here we are at the end of the row. We're going to chain one, skip over that chain one space and then make six single crochet. So you're going to repeat those last two rows over and over again until you have 34 rows completed. If you want your top longer, just add more rows, but make sure you end on a single crochet row. So here I have my 34 rows completed. If you count these V's, it works out at 17 V's up. If you want more rows, just add more rows, but make sure to end on a single crochet row. This top that I've done, it works out at 19 inches in length. So continuing on from where you are now, we're going to chain one and half double crochet into that very first stitch. Then we're going to make another 19 half double crochets. Just to make sure you always place a stitch into each of these chain one spaces. So go ahead and make a total of 20 half double crochet.
So once you have your 20 half double crochet, we're going to leave a long tail and we're going to cut our yarn and fasten off. So now for the other shoulder, count 20 stitches in and then attach your yarn to that 20th stitch. Then insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain one. Into that same stitch, place your first half double crochet and then make another 19 half double crochets. Once you have your 20 half double crochet completed, we're going to fasten off, leave a long tail and then cut your yarn. So that's one of your panels completed. All you have to do now is repeat this entire process one more time because the front panel and the back panel are the exact same. So go ahead and repeat this entire process one more time. So now we're going to go ahead and start our sleeves. I've already chained nine. So single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the remaining chains. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work and then working into the back loop of every stitch, place one single crochet. So you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 30 rows completed. And now we're going to be working on this long edge. So we're going to chain one and make 30 half double crochet. So for the next row we're going to do some increases, so chain one and then turn your work. Into that very first stitch place two half double crochet. Then place one half double crochet into each of the remaining stitches until you reach the second last stitch. Into that last stitch, place two half double crochet. The next row, chain one and then turn your work. And then place one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. For the next row, chain one and then turn your work. Place two half double crochet into that very first stitch. And then place one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across until you reach your second last stitch. Into the last stitch, place two half double crochet. So you're going to repeat those last two rows over and over again. You're going to alternate between a row of no increases and a row of increases. And repeat those two rows until you have a total of 44 half double crochet. So now that you have your 44 half double crochet, 
we're just going to do regular rows of half double crochet so we're going to chain one and then turn your work and into that very first stitch place one half double crochet and then place one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across and then you're going to repeat this row until your entire sleeve measures 17 inches long. So when your sleeve measures 17 inches long, we're going to fasten off and we're going to leave a long tail. So now you're going to grab one of your panels with the right side facing up and then lay your second panel on top with the right side facing down. And with your yarn needle and your tail, we're going to sew across each of the shoulders. Now we're going to lay the entire piece out flat with the wrong side facing up, just like so. And you're going to grab one of your sleeves and you're going to mark the center stitch with a stitch marker. And then you're going to line that stitch mark marker with your shoulder seam, just like so, and just attach. And with your yarn needle and your tail on your sleeve, we're just going to sew across. So we're just going to sew right across our sleeve, right there, attaching the sleeve to the main body part, and do the same on the other side. And then you're going to fold your sweater over and you're going to sew down along the edge of our sleeve and down along the edge of our top and do the same on the other side. And when you have that done, we're going to start on our neck. So now we're going to turn our sweater the right side out. So just make sure that the textured side is facing out. And then we're going to attach our yarn to the shoulder seam right there. And then we're going to half double crochet all the way around. So go ahead and attach your yarn to the shoulder seam. Just around here. Pull your yarn through and then just make a knot. Then we're going to insert our hook pull that yarn through and then chain one and into that same space place your first half double crochet and then just half double crochet all the way around the entire neckline So once you've half double crocheted all the way around your neckline, we're going to slip stitch into that very first half double crochet just to close the round. And 
and then chain one half double crochet into that same stitch and then half double crochet into every stitch all the way around when you've reached all the way around your neckline we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet so repeat this round over and over again until you have a total of 20 rows completed if you want a longer turtleneck just add more rows when you have 20 rounds of half double crochet completed we're going to fasten off and weave in all our ends and that's our sweater completed don't forget the free written pattern for all other sizes is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com so that's it for today what do you want me to make next will i continue making winter stuff do you want me to make cardigan sweaters will i move on to spring summer stuff like you know the crop tops or just normal summer tops or do you want me to make accessories like bags or maybe baby stuff like blankets just leave your suggestions in the comments down below and until next time take care